Recording again. Uh, yeah, my brain just seems to shut down as soon as I open OBS. Um, so I fixed about I don't know, 25 bugs since the previous video. I work a lot better when I'm not recording myself. But uh, I still want to record. I keep making these, these videos, I suppose. Um, Uh, so I've, I've finally got around to testing uh, the start blocks for the first time since the refactor and they're all, um, well I found one quirk which, uh, in fact let me just check the previous build. Um, this, is, this is the Patreon build. I think start blocks were actually just completely broken in this build anyway, but... Ah. I think at some point in time, I had this thing going on where... Okay, so, start blocks. When you have no start blocks in the current workspace, then um, if the playhead is over here, there's this invisible zero point on the workspace where if you press Z then the playhead goes back to zero which happens to be here. Uh, the zero point is not particularly important in Blockhead because the workspace goes infinitely to the left and to the right so there's no like start of the timeline and when you render your project it will um, just start from the left most block so if you have a block over here for example um, it will start rendering from here. I think that's right. Um, uh, unless it's not working right. But anyway, uh, that's what's supposed to happen, I think. Um, but as soon as you add at least one start block to the workspace, um, now if you press Z, nothing happens in the previous build. Um, so the start is still here. But you can right click on the start block and say is song start which is supposed to update this icon but anyway now if i press Z, this is considered the start of the song whatever the word song means and that i'm not very consistent with terminology right now but um so now this is considered the start and if you have another See, this is fucked up. This is wrong. Uh, so I added another start block there and it automatically set this to the song start, which puts this icon for the restart button instead. Um, hmm. So if I press Z, it goes back here. If I start from here, press Z. It goes back here because um, the rule is if you start from a start block and press the restart shortcut, it always goes back to the start block that you started from. Um, but if you like, I think if you start and then stop and then start again. Oh no, that's right. Yeah. So it's, it's considered like, there's like a stickiness to the start blocks where Blockhead remembers that you started from this block and so you restart and it goes back to here, which I think feels probably what you would want to happen most of the time. Um, and if you start from this block and press the restart either here or here, I think I think it's the restart button that, that um, causes the stickiness to happen. It's like stickiness but by design, it's not a bug, it's supposed to be a feature but it's not very intuitive i suppose i think it just needs a visual indicator to say hey this is the block that is going to be rewound to when you press the restart hotkey but anyway um so you can have multiple start blocks and one start block is considered to be the song start Um, 
things are a little bit jank in this build it seems like hmm um, but anyway the rule should be that if you have zero start blocks on the workspace and you create one new one so you go from zero to one this should be automatically set as the song start because there are no other start blocks present and that doesn't seem to be happening in the old build but i think it is in this build but still the icon is not updating properly so in this build if i create a start block oh no it's exactly the same as it was before it seems like Um, so sorry, just to be, uh, just to clarify, the difference between a start block and a see what the fuck. <laughs> so I created a second start block, and then it did the thing that it's supposed to do of automatically setting it as a song start, but it's not supposed to when there's already one. I think. Oh, I think maybe the way it works is if it's not if there's zero start blocks, but if there's just no current start block present. Is that right? No, it's not. Okay. Um, but anyway, the difference, the only difference between song start and just normal start block is uh, if you have any start block, song start block present in the workspace, then when you render the workspace, that's where it will start from. Um, and it will render until the end of the final block so if you want to add some silence at the end you would just like you could just add a meta block or something um right so let's figure out first of all restart what exactly do i want to work on first here because i think there's multiple bugs going on so add track add start block what I'm expecting here is for this start block to be automatically set as the song start when I create it. And this icon should update. So that should have happened automatically. And it didn't. Okay. Uh, right. So, add new start block. Okay. I'm trying to think where exactly the change should happen. Um, I guess this is where it should happen. But my interface that I have here for creating new blocks doesn't quite support what I want to do. So what's happening here is each one of these functions in this big stupid class is an undo redoable action. So every time the user does something like some atomic action which is undoable. Um, Blockhead will generate the action to perform 
that operation and also another action which will revert the system back to the state it was in uh, before the action was performed. Um, so for adding new blocks to the workspace, like from the context menu, when you right click and add a block, I've encapsulated all, it, everything into this add new block to workspace thing. Uh, so in here I'm creating, this is the do action. So every when you initially perform the action and also if you undo and then redo it, this is what will happen when you redo. And this is the action that happens when you undo. And for adding a start block, I want to insert um, another th more stuff into this do. Um, and more stuff into the undo. So this interface doesn't really support that right now. Which is fine. Um, not a problem. This should be fine. Hmm. Well, the thing is, what happens here when a block is deleted? Oops. something must be happening when a start block is deleted um is it here start i think there's like some stupid unregister oh yeah So when a block is removed from a workspace, it goes into here and I'm checking here if it's a start block and if it is, um, check if it's the song start and deactivate it. Song start, graph active, okay. So that should already be happening. Ah, here's the logic. Right, so the logic already exists. For setting the start block to be the song start when it's added to a workspace. So this should be happening already. I don't need to fuck around with the undo redo action. Add start book. What? Oh, this is a typo. Right? Surely. I can also clean this up. Start equals cast. If it's not equal to the current song start, we should, that check already happens. All right, I think that's right. So if there's no current song start for this workspace, set this one as the song start. It worked. But that is not right. Oh, 
It only does that once for some reason. That was interesting. I dragged and then released the mouse button over the play button and it started playing. Which should not happen. So I'll fix that as well. Does this always also happen? Yeah. That is... Is that going to be a massive pain to fix? <laughs> I'm trying to think how that... If I drag and then release... Hmm. <clears throat> uh, okay, why is that happening twice? That's what I want to know. Start. Set song start, yep. That's fine, then we do it again. Interesting. Hey. <laughs> oh my, okay. So I've clearly had it in my head that when you add a start block to the workspace, the first start block, then it's set as, uh, the, as the song start. And then I've solved, I've tried to solve that problem in two different places. Um, because everything's, uh, everything in, it's just, uh, a big object oriented spider web hellscape, so um, these things happen. But uh, so this is happening. So when the workspace of a block instance changes, I first of all do this, which is, it's already going into here. Then I'm checking how many start blocks exist on the workspace and doing this again, which is just wrong, right? So I just delete this. I think I'm happy with that. <laughs> I think you should do the right thing. The other thing I want to check is um, there's this thing that you can do which is very scary because I I never really thought about it at all and then I just sort of noticed that you can do it which is if you start dragging a block and then you press control 2 to switch to the second workspace 
then you can drop it if you've got a track here then you can drop it there's no tr okay there's a crash this is cool i wasn't expecting a bug here um But it's not surprising. So uh, the thing that was a, before I get sidetracked by that bug, um, the thing that I was talking about is this is the default workspace. If you had a track here, go to the second workspace, which you can do by pressing Control Two, add a track here, and you create start block here, start block. Start dragging, control two, and drop it here. Oh yeah, it works. So this is automatically set as the song start for this workspace as well. All right, fair enough. Okay, but now we've got this uh, other bug that we just went into, which is if there's no tracks on the workspace and you release the last button, then this happens. So let's investigate this now. Hold on, let's commit the the I was fixing a bug here, I can't remember what that was. Um uh, fix start block not being auto set. So song start. Right, so what's this bug? Did I shut down the debugger? Yes, I did. I'm going to try to record for less time this time. Because like I said, my, I simply do not... Uh, my brain just stops working as well when I'm recording. <laughs> and so I'm just getting less work done by doing these videos. But... Uh, I think I should keep doing them because the whole point is to get better at talking that's what I want to do I don't know if that's actually happening maybe uh, right so but I'm amazed that uh, dr picking dr like dragging drops and then pr pressing a sh keyboard shortcut to get to a different workspace and then dropping it on a track I'm amazed that even <laughs> works at all because I never designed for it in the first place. I just it just I just never considered that you would be able to do that. Because usually when you're um when you're dragging a a, uh, a block I was thinking, oh well the only way to get to another workspace is by clicking one of those buttons down there. Um, which you can't do while you're dragging, but of course I have these keyboard shortcuts. So, what happens if you drag a block over the button? Does that f is that really bad? No, it's fine. Okay, good. Um, but yeah, as long as you've got a track here, it will work fine. But if I go to workspace three now and drop. So what's going on? This doesn't make sense. Oh, restore start locations. Oh. The location. Oh, right. Okay, so when you start dragging a block, um, you rec I'm recording the start location. 
so that when you release the mouse button, yeah, man, Visual Studio. When you release the mouse button, if you're not over a valid location, it will just pop back to where it started. So I, when you start dragging, or when you start any kind of operation, I guess it's just dragging operations actually, anyway, it will re remember where it was. So it needs to store that data somewhere and it will pop back. So the data that I'm storing is the track index and the lane index. So if you change the workspace, it's going to go, oh, I want to restore the position back to track zero, lane zero, or wherever it was um, on the current workspace. But because it doesn't understand that the workspace changed. So um, actually, I want to also record the workspace index or maybe the workspace ID. Um, <clears throat> actually a lot of this drag and drop stuff this is why it's so surprising that you can even switch between like hot switch between workspaces at all is that um yeah it all, it all just assumes that the workspace is not going to change if it does then i know i do do i do 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 he <laughs> um i i do notify the drag and drop system that the workspace has changed and I will regenerate um, the state of the like all, all the the blocks on the current workspace. I need to re recollect everything and figure out like for collisions, like what where, where all the collision points are, where the snapping points are, and all that. So I do do that when the workspace changes. I think maybe this is the only place that I need to. Um, it's going to have to be a, a workspace ID and I'm going to have to look it up. I don't think I can get away with, because these track, these indices are referring to, the indices that I generate for the current workspace when the, the either when the, the drag and drop operation begins or when the workspace changes. All right, workspace ID. This will get initialized somewhere or other. Here we go. Look, hold on.
don't understand how this is working. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at it in the debugger because my code is too confusing. I need to see exactly what's happening. So drag. Make interaction for manipulating existing instances. Get current location. Oh, that's why I couldn't see it. Okay. Um, so this shouldn't compile then because they've added a aggregate member. Depending on how terrible C++ is, I can't remember. If you, if you have an aggregate that has three members and you initialize it with two, so that's just fine. I have a horrible feeling that it might be. I changed the header file so it's going to rebuild a bunch of stuff. Um, I will stop recording while it builds. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What was I doing? Oh yeah. Oh, it compiled. I just wanted to see if it compiled. Okay, that's really stupid. I don't. I don't think C plus plus should work like that. Um, I don't think this line should compile right here. Anyway, lane. Oh, it's it's because it's an optional. Maybe, is that the reason? No, I still don't like it. I think maybe if I um, if I say drop location, or do I not have hello? Location. Wait. What? I'm confused. Location. All right, yeah. If I use normal brackets instead of curly brackets, then does it complain? Right. Which is surely what it should do anyway. I'm sure there's a reason why it doesn't. Workspace ID It complains anyway because there's no constructor. Alright. Whatever. Uh so then when it comes to restoring positions, I didn't mean to click that. What the fuck? What did I just do? I lost my tab list. Oh, there it is. Um, can you just get rid of this shit? I never use that. Um, again, recording just makes my brain stop working sometimes. I don't know why. What, what, what was I doing? Um, oh yeah, restoring, restore start locations. This, I think, is a generic thing that works for all situations. So, starting location, yep. Yeah. Location.
Ah, and this is where it crashes, I suppose. Get lane. Yeah, okay. Ah, this is kind of bad, man. This is... Huh. Let me think. The way it works at the moment is as soon as you start any kind of stamping or copy paste or drag and drop thing in Brockhead, we generate, um, we try to generate all the information that we need to deal with like collisions and stuff that you don't normally care about. As soon as you start one of those operations, suddenly we care about all this extra stuff to do with like, where are, where are the snapping points on the workspace? Where are all the current blocks on the workspace that we need to like deal with collisions and things and also what are the blocks involved in the operation like if you drag a selection box around some blocks and then start dragging them um, we're like temporarily removing them from the workspace uh, or separating them out from the, the other blocks remaining on the workspace and saying these blocks that we're moving need to collide with the blocks on the workspace uh, and the way we're doing that is we're just, we're just looking at when the, when the operation begins, we're just looking at the current workspace and we're going, let's generate this data structure of all the tracks and all the lanes and all the blocks on those lanes. Um, so we just, we end up with this situ it's called the situation struct which is just one workspace. Which most of the time is all you need. But uh, I guess we can't get away with that really. Can't really get away with it. Because you can, you can, uh, you have this uh, horrible corner case where you can press a, a keyboard shortcut to change the workspace in the middle of an operation so which most of the time is dealt with actually because we regenerate the situation when the workspace changes but what we don't regenerate is the, the start locations of those blocks which we uh, we also generate so the wherever it was start the the uh, I can't find it now. Lane or insertion, whatever it's called. Drop data. Okay. So this stuff. So, well, what's happening is if you press uh, the keyboard shortcut to change your workspace in the middle of an operation, we are regenerating this. Um, I've lost it again. Back, 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 back. We're regenerating this data. And then we're assuming that, okay, from now on, we're just dealing with this new workspace. But I forgot about the fact that if there's no valid location for a drop, for a, a drag and drop, then it, we're restoring the positions back to the old workspace. So anyway, let's just fix this. This should be a simple fix, I think. I'm just going to collapse all this because I don't like these. No, that's not the... Okay. Um... Yeah. Well, let's do this properly then. So 
So this index that we're going to generate is just the index into this array here. Workspaces. Um, I'm just going to stop recording for a second to go to the toilet. Okay. Yes. So this is just like this now. Well, this is pointless now, isn't it? Why would I need the track index in the first place? Can I not just have an index? Where is that code that I was looking at earlier? Local index. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. I don't know why I'm this using zero there, but I'll just copy what I did. This index refers to, I think, the the top level index of the workspace. So by default you have three workspaces, so the indices will be 0, 1, 2, I think. Where is that even set index? Why don't I just do it in the constructor? I don't know. Um, this stuff's more complicated than it seems because these workspaces, um, this is the same, the same workspace type that is used for the internal workspace of a macro block. So it doesn't, it's not just used for the top level workspaces that you can access from that menu in the bottom left. Um, so there's like, there's three types of workspace. There's the top level workspace. And then there's a macro workspace, like the actual visible thing that you interact with. And then there's this thing called a, a micro workspace, which I'm not even going to talk about. Um, update workspace indices. Oh, God. Workspace ordered. Okay, that's fine. That's all fine. 
as long as I know what it is. Okay, so that should be zero, one, two, if there's three workspaces. Uh, so this makes sense. Yes, okay. So get lame. This is so complicated. What is this? No, that's not right. Tracks. Oh yeah, it's track index. Okay, tracks, lanes, lanes, what a horrible line of code that is, whoops. Um, Okay, uh, now I should get a bunch of compile errors which help me out here for where to look next because I changed I changed the structure of this so the compiler should help me out. It's probably in here, right? If I'm going to do this actually, if I'm going to collect all this data about all of the workspaces, even if the ones that are not visible, then when the workspace changes, I don't need to regenerate the entire situation actually. I just need to update the current workspace. Which will be here in fact. This needs to be updated as well now, surely. Get track. Global index. I think I'm breaking things here. I have this concept of local and global index, which is um, basically if you have a track and then a track and then you have, whoops, or whatever. If you have, um, let's say you have three lanes in this track and three lanes in this track. Um, 
the local indices of the lanes are 0, 1 and 2, 0, 1 and 2, and the global indices of the lanes is, is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, and I need both for various things when doing dragging and dropping stuff. Um, so previously I was populating this vector of lanes I think this should work fine. I think this is fine. Okay. Not going to worry about it right now. If it doesn't work, then I'll see. Okay. Oh no. Check index. Recently I've been squashing everything together like this. Because I prefer it, I've noticed. Um, okay. What else? Let's actually create a function. Get current workspace. this work
So this is wrong now. Find lane or insertion for root. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. But this is wrong. So this now, I want to get the workspace from the location. Location. Um. Hold on. But only if there is. Oh, I guess this is fine actually. Oops. All right, here we go. Uh, yeah, this is already doing the right thing because I wrote, I made this function. Uh, okay. This is probably the kind of problem that I should be working on uh, without OBS running, um, because I, it, I probably need to be thinking about it with my brain working at full capacity, but it's okay. Insertion track. Insertion. Lane insertion. Okay, let's do it like this. Uh. Oh, well now this needs No, it doesn't. So this is uh, happening when you drag something to the edge of a lane and it inserts a new lane. 
which will always be happening on the current workspace. So I can just go situation current workspace. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. This is all fine. The process at the moment is I'm going to fix all these compile errors and then run it and see where it crashes, basically. And then uh, I will have a better understanding of the problem at that point, hopefully. Uh, so what is happening here? Workspace. What is that? Situation. Ah, this, ah, here we go. Make situation. Right, this is where it all happens. So, yeah. Um, so this uh, nested for loop is going to get even more nested because I'm going to do the following play out get top get top workspaces there we go I'm getting a beautiful indentation triangle here lovely stuff um So blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is wrong actually, okay. That is wrong. I shouldn't do it like that. I sh what I should do is actually just have these in line. There's no need to have this two part lookup going on. Is that right? No, not really. It kind of is. What did this used to look like? Yeah, okay. So half and half. Basically, uh, yeah, okay. Um, so I need to keep a, a vector of all the lanes in the workspace. Um, because I need to be able to reference them by global index, like I was talking about. Um, but then I also need, for each track, I need uh, um, a list of the lanes on that track as well. And I don't want to duplicate data, so so this index, this is an index refers, which refers to, I mean, I guess I should be using size t if it's an index. It refers to this vector. Which means I need 
the workspace index as well because I need to know which workspace I'm looking into okay that makes more sense I think so I need the workspace index here this now this can just be deleted because the function below just achieves that oh no that's a local index I'm passing in okay It'd be good if I had stronger types here, but uh, I'm doing, obviously I, at the time of writing this, I guess things are a lot simpler. And so I wrote them in a really, I wrote it all in a really naive way. Excuses, excuses. <clears throat> so the local index, right. Workspace is workspace index tracks track index um, lanes lane local index that is getting the global index And then I pass that to this. Get track. Workspaces. Tracks. Good God, fuck. Okay. Uh, is that all fine? I don't know. Uh, so now everything's broken again. Okay. What's happening now? This is an actual vector of tracks again. So this should be reverted back to what it was doing before. Line forty eight. And this one. Situation get lane. the global index space index yeah um I could also just go workspace lanes which is shorter okay Ugh. <sighs> 
okay. I'm not, I haven't structured this properly. Um. This is turning into a mess actually. Okay, that's not necessary. Well, it might be necessary, okay. Um. This is turning into a mess. situation. This is generating what? Oh, find lane on insertion. So this is all happening on the current workspace. Okay. Same thing here. I know this code is all dreadful, but don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Just don't look at it. Okay, this is the interesting function. This is the one, this is the fun one. So I need to remember the track now has a workspace index wait why did I add that why did I add that I'm not sure that's needed Try to fit more of this on the screen at once. Okay. Situation. W. Is the thing, yeah. Cool. What have I missed? Ok, 
Okay. Get snappable instances. Yes. So this will be the current workspace. Again, it's the current workspace. Excuse me. What are you crying about? Uh, situation. All oh, right. Well, that should be constant, shouldn't it? Oh no! Right, I see. I see. Fair enough. So is that returning a const here? Yeah. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, what now? Find new lane insertions, again, it's always going to be the current workspace that all this happens on, so workspace, current workspace, get track. And I could just go tracks, oops. Lane insertion marker. Excuse me, can you type properly? Thank you. So is die te inzieren. Can I just change all this to size T? I 
I think I was using minus one somewhere else in the system to indicate um, Alright, I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just do this. Do I need this or not? Why did I add that? I don't remember. Compiling. That's scary. Haha. <laughs> Get root control rect for snap indicator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Same thing again. What's this function? Snap, yes. Yeah. Oh, I changed this a minute ago. Get lane, lane global index. So the situation now, if this builds, which it might do, you don't know, it might do. Um, make situation. Is every time the workspace, the current workspace changes during a drag and drop operation, it's recreating the entire situation which includes all of the workspaces, even if the ones that are not visible. Um, which is probably fine. Because it's pr a pretty fast operation. It's not the... F I mean, things aren't organised in the most cash-efficient way or anything like that, but I don't think... It's ever going to be a problem with the amount of data we're dealing with here. Um, I'll have to do some like stress tests in the future. Anyway, let's see what happens. Crashes, which is expected. Oh, I'm never setting this, am I? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to set the current workspace. Uh which will simply happen here, out current workspace equals <clears throat> current workspace uh, leader index, get index, I think this is fine. <laughs> this is definitely the, not the most ideal code anyway if it's a performance problem it's uh, something that will have to be tackled in the future
control two. Well, something weird happened there. Release mouse button. And we went back to where it was. Okay, that seems good. That doesn't seem good. Uh, index zero, one, one. That's not right, is it? Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what? Uh, hold on. <laughs> what? Track index one. No, 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 no. No, thank you. What? What the? No, 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 no. No, how is that happening? What's happening? Um, make... There should be no track index 1. Wait a second here. What exactly did I do? Whoa. Same thing, is it? Yeah, every time you, you place a block, it creates a new situation as well. Uh, so that should be easy to de debug then. There's only one track ever created here. Bang. Track index zero. Where's this track index one coming from? Oh, it didn't happen this time. Ah, but now it happened. I don't know where this one is coming from. Track index one. What? Fix collision. Find lane or insertion for route. Mm. 
can understand. Track index one. What? I'm going insane. Uh. Huh? <laughs> what am I missing here? is quite interesting. But we're getting to this point and track index is one. I don't know how that is happening. Excuse me. Assertion. This must be happening for the crash to happen, so it must break there. feeling I'm doing something really stupid. How is this possible? What? Insertion lane, track index. Lane or insertion? Oh my god, did I fuck something up? Um, I think I know what I did. Insertion lane. What? Lane or insertion? Fix collision. Lane or insertion lane. Yeah. 
Yeah. So this must be happening then. If this doesn't happen, then the world truly doesn't make sense. Thank you. Where the fuck is this track index one coming from? Tell me. Where is it coming from? Zero. Oh, because I it's I have to get <laughs> I know what the problem is. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is why I should use constructors. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna write a constructor for this. Um, in fact, does that even help? But C plus plus. If I say this needs an explicit constructor I think you could bypass that using the aggregate con construction anyway ah. let's just try it track index main index Okay, good. Excellent. Um, now I'm forced to call the constructor, I think. Um, the workspace index, truck index. No. Lane of insertion. Lane. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Should I, I'll do that for the other thing as well. For the insertion. Okay, that looks happier to me. Now she gets some compiler right here. Yes. Forces me to be more verbose, but means it's less error prone. Lane or insertion. No, that didn't work. I recorded a, a macro there, but it didn't work. Right. 
lane. So a different macro. Oh, this one I have to think about. Um, find lane or insertion. That's it. How are we doing? Is it built? Oh, it built. Great. Seems to be working. Crash. Now what? <laughs> That's a bad number. That is a bad number. Wow. How has this occurred? Let's try to reproduce it. Oh, 
Tell me this anymore. I selected some blocks and I start dragging. Okay. That's where the problem happens. Okay. All right. God, I've just seen how long I've been recording. This is going to be a massive video again. I I wanted to like sh shorten the video times, but uh, I got in the middle of this. I I can't really stop it now, right? Right in the middle of something. But I'll fix this, and then no, I want to fix that other thing that I saw as well when you switch the workspace. It's just going to be a long video again. Uh, okay, what's happening here? Blah, blah, blah. This is not a real thing. How did this happen then? Offset from root. How did this occur? I did change these uh, functions, didn't I? I'm, I changed this line and this line. Hmm. What? Come on. At least I've been consistently. I changed uh, so this bit okay this is a real lane I go next lane please next lane Global index two plus one. So that seems fine. That's not a problem. It is actually is a problem. What is that? What is that? 
<laughs> what the? This doesn't even make sense. This doesn't make sense. Okay. Locals. Situation workspaces. Zero. Lanes. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong here? I'm returning the address of a temporary, am I? Maybe. I think that's exactly what's happening. I'm returning the address of Is that actually what's happening? I can't The, the square bracket operator returns a reference, right? <laughs> what? Oh my good fuck. Look at that. I've seen it. And uh, as well. Stupid, I'm like, I'm, I'm sort of, like at first glance it sort of looks like I'm doing some kind of like nice value semantics here, but no, no, I'm, I am doing reference semantics and I'm getting all these stupid bugs as well, don't worry about that. Uh, there we go. Bang, bang, bang. Let's try inserting at the top. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now, last thing before I stop the recording. Control 2 to get to the second workspace. For some reason, whoa, look at that. And then as soon as I change the zoom level, it sorts itself out. Interesting. The other thing, I noticed this the other day, but I'm not going to fix it now, is if you drag off the edge of the workspace... No, it's not happening now. Ah. Oh. They sort of get stuck on the edge of the screen. Oh yeah, it happens here. They get stuck on the edge there for some reason. Yeah, I think I know why that is. Um, I'll probably fix that um, offline. Um... Okay, so this bug here. Oh, now it's not happening. I was like really zoomed in and then... Well, now it doesn't happen. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Why... Why does it only happen once? Oh no, it's happening. It's just the difference between the two zoom, le zoom levels was uh, not that great, so... Like if I zoom in on this one... Yeah. So... What's the situation there? 
Um, hmm. Just trying to think what, where to start looking. Let me just commit this thing that I did. What did I fix? I don't remember what I fixed. Oh yeah, fix. Um, uh, fix blocks. Not. Uh, fix. Um, fix crash when trying to restore block locations. That's what all of that was about. And now. Um, Hmm. Let me think. On view changed. What does that do? Here. Am I just not doing that? It's happening right here. Where is this view coming from? Workspace changed. Ah. This is wrong. Drop controller. What is this? View. Home view changed. I understand. Okay. View equals get view. View. That should solve it. ending the video if this is uh, working now. Yes, thank you. Drag, control two. Good. I mean, it zoomed in, but that's because this workspace was already on um, uh, lower zoom level or higher. What is it? Lower or higher? More zoomed in. Um, but the the dragging now matches what the cursor is doing, which is good. And release. It goes back to here. Okay. I think that's a successful two hours, was it? I don't know. Bye-bye. Uh,